all around the world persons are in a back to school mood and we thought to ourselves why not head on over to Portmore at the Lime School Aid back to school fair right here at Jam World in Portmore and of course yo it's another week of pre this my name is Kazma and follow me as we bring you around the Jamaican entertainment lifestyle we're gonna give to you sound light excitement pure entertainment right here on pre this now let's get inside the event and find out what it's all about it's all about the Lime School Aid back to school fair right here at Jam World Let's go, pretty stars, right now. As I mentioned earlier, we're here all the way in Portmore, St. Catherine for the Lime School Aid Back to School Fair at Jam World. Big up yourself, Jam World. Yeah, man, the vibes are nice. And just in case you weren't here, don't worry. We have a snapshot of what took place. So, yo, pre this. people here now almost 8,000 probably have left already believe me we are delighted at having so many people here and being able to serve Portmore in such a special way Lime School Aid the biggest back-to-school fair ever in the country we've given so many haircuts out there health checks dental checks we've given away almost 7,000 school bags with books and everything or sponsors that partner with us now when you say sponsors I want you to tell us now us about the sponsors you have involved because this is Lime what kind of sponsors can you really get involved on this event now? We sink out here with us, with the brands Water, Coca-Cola, etc. We have Sansa's Bookstore here strongly, Ministry of Health. The Portmore Municipal Council is also here with us, I mean, supporting us because this is here it is. We have the, the entertainment village in terms of all the, the rides and all that stuff. Believe me, everybody wanting to give back to the kids of Portmore and the kids of the country because the fact is, it's not only Portmore kids here. These are kids from Kingston, from Spanish Town, all over. Last year we had two days, but what we decided to do is just pack everything into one fun-filled, extravagant day. And I mean, we're seeing the crowds, we're seeing the rewards, and everybody's being entertained. Now the school aid is obviously a very good thing. What can we look for for next year? And how are you guys going to even try to top this one? Uh, going island wide. All right. And that's, that's the big thing. I mean, our people in the West, you know, are, are missing out on this. So we're going to lend our hand out in the West and show that our people in Mobile, Negro, South, etc. have somewhere to go and have the same opportunity. It all went down at Heineken Good Times Resale in Kingston at Mass Camp. Now, just in case you weren't there, you know, Prince was in the building. Of course, it's good vibes, good old music, Heineken Good Times. Check it out. Hi, what brought you to Anakin Good Times tonight? Well, it's it's very interesting. There's a lot of people out here and I love the vibes and I love you especially. <laughs> but I'd like to pick up all the people that are here right now yeah. who are home. I'm sorry for you because Good Times is right here for you. I'm having a blast. You're having a blast? Yes. So is this the first time here? No. Can I ask that? No. <laughs> so what would you... 
Always come when it keeps. Okay. So do you have anything you want to say to anybody out there who is not here tonight? You're missing something. It's shot, it's shot, it's shot. Well, it's an event that I always attend, so I had to be here. Okay, so is this the first time here? No, I've been here years now. So how's the vibe so far? Well, I, I, I just got here so and I started enjoying myself, so it's good. I'm actually I'm here on vacation. I'm from New York, from England. And I'm actually coming here with my husband tonight. Okay. So um how was the vibes of the party so far? It's been good. Can you see it's showing on me? I've been sweating. Just the vibes, I love the vibes. <laughs> Is it the first time here? No, second time. And still coming back. All the matter, girl, make them fret. Now you don't know you why your man not left. You were pimp choice, pimp first prize. Don't punch a coat, girl, you had it. Wife, you had a wife. Wife, man first choice. Wife, you wear the ring. Wife, you will get everything. Wife, you come first. Wife, you my fat up your purse. All the matter, girl, make them fret. Now everybody's been wondering what's going on with all this beer excitement. You know, pick up the papers, you see the beer. You turn on your TV, you see the beer. Even go on Facebook, it's all about the beer. Well, guess what? Now we have the senior brand manager from Restaurant. His name is Sean Yell. He's going to be finessing on exactly what this mission impossible, you know, the latest promotion for Restaurant is all about. Now, pre this. The campaign launched about a week and a half ago. Um, with the kind of world premiere of Mission Impossible, right? You know, it came out, there's a very stylized beginning with, you know, SWAT team circling in. And I think that's what we really want to get forth with this campaign is, you know, a, another level of execution and um, of consideration for what would normally be kind of a, uh, all right, it's another fun beer commercial. But what this actually does is it brings production level to a whole other set where people around the world looking going, wow, that's really cool and really well done. Now, the campaign itself is meant to be based around the idea of a bear who are using as kind of a, a little figure translation of your know, beer, of course. And just, you know, he's really a regular Jamaican. Oh, I think it's a fun play on words. I mean, think about all the things we can do with it, you know. Vision impossible. You know, pause for refreshment. The heat is unbearable. And it's just simply is a great personification of something that would be a little bit alien to Jamaica that kind of really brings a little more full circle and like people give a little bit of pause and think about it and go, wow, that's really kind of crazy and out there. And that's what we've gone for, and it's a, that's the response we've gotten so far. I think what you saw um, about a week before the, uh, the launch of the movie campaign, or the uh, TV campaign, was you know, some claw marks within newspapers, on billboards, etc., even within some prominent bar locations across town and the island. And you know, most people kind of like pausing, like, what exactly is that, and what's happening here? You know, we've even got some kind of questions about, like, all right, what product is that? And that was something that we wanted to do. We wanted to make it seem very much as a storyline, as if there's truly a bear coming to Jamaica. You know, he's not really kind of understanding exactly what's going on, so he's just kind of creating mischief across the island. So that was the idea of truly kind of building, like, the pausing for a minute and kind of questioning what exactly it was. And then it led directly into the campaign where we launched it. People made that connection. They're like, ah, there was a break-in at Red Stripe. You know, there was beer overturned. There was bear claws all over the... Uh, all over the newspapers, etc. And that was something that people really put together and pieced it and said, that's creative and fun. Sure, it's really about getting people talking about Red Stripe, you know, whether, oh, they have been talking. You know, it depends on who you talk to, whether, you know, how much they, uh, they love it. But, you know, that we've gotten a great response and that's what we want to have, the, the idea is that really Red Stripe is about being fun. And while the first episode was necessary to do so was being a little bit more serious in nature, kind of a little bit dark, you know, this kind of like SWAT team stealing in. After this, it becomes much more fun, and you actually see the kind of the joy and excitement for life coming out in each of the successive episodes, and that's really what we want to bring forward. Jam World with Dana, and of course the vibes on and popping. It's all about the Lime School aid back to school. Of course, right now we're going to be talking about pre the school, and this week you know we have Zip Jock DJ Wawa. Everybody knows DJ Wawa. He's a popular radio personality and also play at enough parties. Now the man was playing at a club recently. You know, he left the club, start him car. You know, him car, start him car. Thing. I know it's alleged, as according to DJ Wawa, that dancehall artist I don't know. You know, a couple people from his crew attacked him. Now DJ Wawa was a lot to say about this incident. Listen to him. Pre this. The other day, you know, doing your ping me and doing your say, Wawa, Gaza, you say. And I say, no, music, I say. And then him jump up and say, me diss him. A long time this thing been going on, but as I can see, 
the world never know about it because I still play him song them, still represent like say, me and him good. So I said, I'm going to say something so what now, and a man jump up and tell me about my mother. He see me, wow, wow. Get mother. You see me, I'm going to say something look. I'm going to say something and walk off. And when I walk, go to my car now. Lalo, I say, wow, I get hype. Love, I don't know, I say, wow, I get hype. I diss the man and the same time I'm going to my car now and I drive off. A brother come to the driver's side now and start beating with a Guinness bottle half empty. Then the next brother pull the passenger side of my door and jump in and start beating with the next bottle. So some people know where they park in at the VIP parking lot to see. So the next brother come and draw off the youth off of me from the driver's side because you can see most of my head damage from the right hand side. It's the right hand drive car. Draw off the youth off of me now from the driver's side and I say something and get for run, but I did dizzy. So most of the time I run, I run on a stagger, you understand? So when the youth pull me off now, I look on doing it. And don't say anything or anything. And I see a short youth come out of a car with a gun and tell me I'm for dead. Same time now, the youth will pull them off, look on Donia and say, Yo, what are you going to bring off on the ZJ? When this is ZJ, so Donia start raising voice on the youth. My man, no, 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 Everybody know ZJ Wawa. Everybody know Dan Villa Ara. I'm not pick with people. I'm not walk with Antaraj. Chantal Davis, a finalist in the 2011 Miss Jamaica World Beauty Pageant, explains how she felt about winning the Miss Jamaica World Fast Track Talent Competition last week. When I won the Miss Jamaica World Talent Competition, the feeling was very surreal because the piece that I did, I didn't think at first that the crowd nor the judges was going to kind of grasp it or appreciate it but after I did it I executed it well. All right can't leave my cran grape in but that's it from Pretty Scoop this week remember we have a lot more Pretty's coming up don't move almost it's our first commercial break we'll soon come back.